Hi all, you might have used content editor and script editor web part for adding any custom code snippet into your SharePoint page. We all know that both of these web parts are intended to add custom code snippet like HTML, CSS, JavaScript into your SharePoint pages. But do you know what is the difference between these two web parts? In today's video, we are going to see what is the difference between content editor web part and script editor web part. So without further delay, let's get started. Hi all, my name is Mayuresh Zoshi. I am from office365notes.com. On this blog, I generally write articles related to Office 365 products like SharePoint, Power Automate, Power Apps, etc. In today's video, we are going to see what is the difference between Content Editor Web Part and Script Editor Web Part. We will see 5 main differences between these two web parts. So let me share my screen. So here if you see uh, we have mentioned 5 main differences between these two web parts. So the first one is the web part usage. So if you see uh, we can only use HTML, CSS and JavaScript under script editor. But along with this HTML, CSS and JavaScript we can also use formatted text, tables and hyperlinks in content editor web part. So the first difference is um, in script editor we have only these 3 options. But in content editor web part, we can add these many options. So let's see how. So I have two pages uh, opened in edit mode. On the first page, I have added content editor. And on the second page, I have added the script editor. Okay. So uh, in the content editor, uh, when I click here, you can see uh, we have the option to add formatted text uh, like the headings, subheadings, uh, anything. And also under insert we have the option to add a table, pictures, videos, anything. So for example if you add a picture. So you can see that picture got added into the content editor web part. So we have these options even we can add videos. And even uh, we can have this uh, embed code means you can directly write some HTML code here. Okay, but in script editor web part, we do not have any such uh, options to add the image. Though you can see these text and image options, but these are not related to script editor. For example, if I add the image, see that image web part got added above the script editor. So this, this component is totally different from script editor. We cannot add any image or anything directly in the script editor from the ribbon. So, uh, so this is kind of a, a limitation. So script editor is strictly for adding the code snippets. So you can see here the option for editing the snippet. So you can write your embed HTML code or JavaScript code directly in this text box. So this is the first difference. Now the second difference is the content link avail availability. Uh, that means in content editor web part, we can give a link to a file uploaded in a document library. But in script editor web part, we do not have such option. So this is a very important uh, difference between these two web parts. So if you see here, when I edit the web part, you can see we have the option of content link. So for example, if you have written any JavaScript code and saved that .js file into a document library, you can directly use that JavaScript file uh, into this link. Just copy the link of uh, that file from site assets and paste it here. So that that JavaScript code will be available in this content editor. But we do not have any such property in script editor. So in script editor, you always need to write the code under edit snippet itself. So here you can see there is no option for content link. So this is a very important difference between these two web parts. So uh, the advantage of having the content link property in content editor is that we do not need to always edit the page for code modification. And we can just edit the file linked to the content editor web part. 
so yeah we have already discussed this point now the third is code reusability so if you see uh, as as we are using the content link property so for example if you have written any code and you need to use that code on 10 different pages the same code so you can make best use of content editor because you just need to reference the link of that file on all those 10 pages but we cannot do the same in script editor because we do not have content link property so the advantage is like you can reuse that code on 10 different pages for example if in future you want to make any change change in the code you do not need to go into each and every page and edit the code just edit the referenced js file so that it will automatically get updated on all pages but in case of script editor you need to manually go to all the pages and click on edit snippet and you need to modify that code written in this text box so this is the one of the important difference which is code reusability which is possible in content editor but not in script editor now the fourth difference is exporting the web part so if you see here you have the option to export the content editor web part so that you can whatever configuration you did in this web part you can reuse it on different uh, pages by importing that web part but we do not have any such option by default present in script editor web part so what you need to do is you need to edit the web part then you need to go to advanced and here you can see ex export mode here you need to make it as export all data and then you need to click on ok and then you can export this web part so the difference is by default the export option will not be available in content uh, in script editor web part but it is available by default in content editor web part now the final point is migration issues so um, as we discussed like we we basically use the content editor along with the content link file so that uh, in during the migration what happens is whatever properties you have configured in the content editor web part those will get easily migrated because you are just using a out of box web part and the out of box properties there is no any actual custom code directly written in the content editor web part though you can use it but like this embedding the code but it is recommended that you write the code in the js file and reference that js file from here so while migration happens uh, different migra migration tools directly copies these files as it is so there is no need of extra work from your side but you may face challenges while migrating the pages which contains the script editor and which has directly embedded the code here so it will be difficult for the migration tools to migrate those codes so there may be uh, some challenges while migrating the script editor pages so these were the five uh, major differences so i have summarized these uh, five differences into one um, table you can refer this and uh, that's it for today i hope uh, you have like like this video thanks for watching have a nice day